start off first giving a little different medical advice than what you just heard. If you if you get sick and throw up, good. You'll feel better. <laughs> Eat something, fuel the machine. If you fall down, break something, skin something, cut something, rub some dirt on it. <laughs> we expect you to finish line here in Leadville, Colorado, one of the most highly mineralized pieces of ground on the face of the earth. Mining is our history, our heritage, our past. It is our present, and it will be our future. In mining, at the end of the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel, it's called the face. Face is called the truth. That's exactly where you're going to be standing tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. You will be facing the truth. Let me back up, just tell you a little bit of a story that happened in our, in our silver rush race uh, end of July. It's, I'm at the halfway mark, 25 miles. This guy came, and he's probably in the audience now because he's one of our let men. I won't have him stand up to be too much embarrassment. <laughs> There's about an hour to go before the before the halfway cut off. He goes over to our medical people and says, I gotta drop. I, I just don't feel good. And he said, Okay, pardon me. You better go talk to Ken. So, he came over to he came over to talk to me and uh, and I said, What's the matter? Has he got plenty of time? And, no, 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 I said, I just can't do it. I gotta I gotta stop. I said, no, sit down and rest. You, you'll be fine. He said, no, this hurts. <laughs> right there, I was so embarrassed. I was so taken back because I knew right then and there it was all my fault. At the pre-race meeting, I didn't tell him it was going to hurt. <laughs> I'm not going to make that mistake with you. It's going to hurt. Let me, let me tell you about what we don't tolerate here in Leadville, and that's quitting. You just don't quit. And I'll tell you how serious and how unfamiliar we are with quitting. I didn't know how to spell it. I didn't know if it had one T or two T. So I go ask Mary Lee, Mary Lee, how do you spell quitting? She looks around in space, look at it. I'm not sure. We think it's got two, so we think it's got two, but we really don't care, because we're not going to do it anymore. You, you just... Many people this came to Lakeville 150 years ago for that gold and silver in the ground. To get that gold and silver out of the ground, they had to dig deep. That is exactly the way you're going to have to get those gold and silver buckles tomorrow. You've got to dig deep. Now, it wouldn't, wouldn't be fair if I just told you, you got to go on, you can't quit. I want to tell you how. And then I want to tell you why. How's the easy part? You just don't quit, and there's a reason why you don't have to quit. Inside each and every one of you, please, this is so true, each and every runner here also applies to your family, your crew, your pacers, but particularly inside of each and every runner is an inexhaustible, inexhaustible well of grit, guts, and determination. So when you're in that race Saturday, Sunday, and you're hurting, you feel real bad, and you think you can't go on, you get into that well, you reach down, you dig deep. It's inexhaustible. You may have to do it more than once. You may have to keep digging deep. You may have to fight and fight for that next inch. Inch by inch it may come down to. That next inch might make the difference whether you get that buckle or not. So I gotta ask you, are you willing to fight? Are you willing to fight for that inch? In you. You just dig deep and you keep going and you don't quit. Our aid station people have one obligation. That's to get you to the next aid station. And they're going to do it. That's, so the how is easy. The why is razor sharp. 
You've got people depending on you. You've got Josh and his and his crew here. They're, the money's already in the bank. They're not concerned about that anymore. They want, <laughs> they want to take care of every runner to get them across the finish line. You've got hundreds of volunteers out there for one reason, to get you across the finish line. And you didn't get here by yourself. You've got family that gave up their time so you can go out for those training runs. You've got a wife, a husband, a girlfriend, a boyfriend that gave up their time with you so you could be here today and face this 100 mile. And you've got kids. Some of you have kids that look up to you. I hope just the way my baby boy did. Because I'm gonna tell you, grit, guts, and determination are not passed on through the bloodstream. It's taught by example. So you do that. When you, that's the why. It is razor sharp. I know that. Now, let me tell you one more thing. If this has been motivation to you and for you, forget it. <laughs> Race starts at 4 a.m. By 8 a.m., motivation will leave you and go back to bed. <laughs> what you are left with, this hangs on our wall. We read it every day. It's an 1800s uh, quote by Wolfgang von Goethe about commitment. It's until one committed, there is hesitancy, hesitancy, the chance to draw back. On and on. From that moment that decision is made, a whole stream of events and issues will occur in your favor. He ends by saying, you can do or dream you can. <laughs>